The Associated Press app is a U.S.-based not-for-profit news agency headquartered in New York City. Founded in 1846, it operates as a cooperative, unincorporated association. Its members are U.S. newspapers and broadcasters. The app has earned 53 Pulitzer Prizes, including 31 for photography, since the award was established in 1917. It earned a 2019 Pulitzer Prize for international reporting for coverage of the civil war in Yemen. The app has counted the vote in U.S. elections since 1848, including national, state and local races down to the legislative level in all 50 states, along with key ballot measures. App collects and verifies returns in every county, parish, city and town across the U.S., and declares winners in over 5,000 contests. The app news report, distributed to its members and customers, is produced in English, Spanish and Arabic. App content is also available on the agency app, App News. A 2017 study by Newswhip revealed that app content was more engaged with on Facebook than content from any individual English language publisher. As of 2016, news collected by the app was published and republished by more than 1,300 newspapers and broadcasters. The app operates 263 news bureaus in 106 countries. It also operates the app Radio Network, which provides newscasts twice hourly for broadcast and satellite, radio and television stations. Many newspapers and broadcasters outside the United States are app subscribers, paying a fee to use app material without being contributing members of the cooperative. As part of their cooperative agreement with the app, most member news organizations grant automatic permission for the app to distribute their local news reports. The app employs the inverted pyramid formula for writing which enables the news outlets to edit a story to fit its available publication area without losing the story's essentials. Cutbacks at rival United Press International in 1993 left the app as the United States primary news service, although UPI still produces and distributes stories and photos daily. Other English-language news services, such as the BBC, Reuters and the English-language service of Agence France Press, are based outside the United States. Topic. History The Associated Press was formed in May 1846 by five daily newspapers in New York City to share the cost of transmitting news of the Mexican-American War. The venture was organized by Moses Yale Beach 1800-68, second publisher of The Sun, joined by the New York Herald, the New York Courier and Inquirer, the Journal of Commerce, and the New York Evening Express. Some historians believe that the Tribune joined at this time, documents show it was a member in 1849. The New York Times became a member shortly after its founding in September 1851. Initially known as the New York Associated Press NYAP, the organization faced competition from the Western Associated Press 1862, which criticized its monopolistic news-gathering and price-setting practices. An investigation completed in 1892 by Victor Lawson, editor and publisher of the Chicago Daily News, revealed that several principals of the NYAP had entered into a secret agreement with United Press, a rival organization, to share NYAP news and the profits of reselling it. The revelations led to the demise of the NYAP and in December 1892, the Western Associated Press was incorporated in Illinois as the Associated Press. A 1900 Illinois Supreme Court decision, Inter-Ocean Publishing Co. v. Associated Press, that the app was a public utility and operating in restraint of trade, resulted in AP's move from Chicago to New York City, where corporation laws were more favorable to cooperatives. When the app was founded, news became a saleable commodity. The invention of the Rotary Press allowed the New York Tribune in the 1870s to print 18,000 papers per hour. 
During the Civil War and Spanish-American War, there was a new incentive to print vivid, on-the-spot reporting. Melville Stone, who had founded the Chicago Daily News in 1875, served as AP general manager from 1893 to 1921. He embraced the standards of accuracy, impartiality, and integrity. The cooperative grew rapidly under the leadership of Kent Cooper, served 1925-48, who built up bureau staff in South America, Europe and after World War II, the Middle East. He introduced the «telegraph typewriter» or teletypewriter into newsrooms in 1914. In 1935, App launched the Wire Photo Network, which allowed transmission of news photographs over leased private telephone lines on the day they were taken. This gave App a major advantage over other news media outlets. While the first network was only between New York, Chicago, and San Francisco, eventually App had its network across the whole United States. In 1945, the Supreme Court of the United States held in Associated Press v. United States that the App had been violating the Sherman Antitrust Act by prohibiting member newspapers from selling or providing news to non-member organizations as well as making it very difficult for non-member newspapers to join the App. App. The decision facilitated the growth of its main rival United Press International, headed by Hugh Bailey from 1935 to 1955. App entered the broadcast field in 1941 when it began distributing news to radio stations. It created its own radio network in 1974. In 1994, it established APTV, a global video newsgathering agency. APTV merged with Worldwide Television News in 1998 to form APTN, which provides video to international broadcasters and websites. In 2004, App moved its world headquarters from its longtime home at 50 Rockefeller Plaza to a huge building at 450 West 33rd Street in Manhattan which also houses the New York Daily News and the studios of New York's public television station, WNET. In 2009, App had more than 240 bureaus globally. Its mission to gather with economy and efficiency an accurate and impartial report of the news has not changed since its founding, but digital technology has made the distribution of the App News Report an interactive endeavor between App and its 1,400 U.S. newspaper members as well as broadcasters, international subscribers, and online customers. The App began diversifying its news-gathering capabilities and by 2007 App was generating only about 30% of its revenue from United States newspapers. 37% came from the global broadcast customers, 15% from online ventures and 18% came from international newspapers and from photography. <laughs> Web resource The AP's multi-topic structure has resulted in web portals such as Yahoo and MSN posting its articles, often relying on the app as their first source for news coverage of breaking news items. This and the constant updating evolving stories require has had a major impact on the AP's public image and role, giving new credence to the AP's ongoing mission of having staff for covering every area of news fully and promptly. The app was also the news service used on the Wii's news channel. In 2007, Google announced that it was paying to receive Associated Press content, to be displayed in Google News, though this was interrupted from late 2009 to mid-2010, due to a licensing dispute. Topic. Fact checking. In 2011, App expanded its fact-checking web presence to Twitter. Topic. Timeline 
1849, the Harbor News Association opened the first news bureau outside the United States in Halifax, Nova Scotia, to meet ships sailing from Europe, before they reached dock in New York. 1876, Mark Kellogg, a stringer, was the first app news correspondent to be killed while reporting the news, at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. 1893, Melville E. Stone became the general manager of the reorganized app, a post he held until 1921. Under his leadership, the app grew to be one of the world's most prominent news agencies. 1899, App used Guglielmo Marconi's wireless telegraph to cover the America's Cup yacht race off Sandy Hook, New Jersey, the first news test of the new technology. 1914, App introduced the teleprinter, which transmitted directly to printers over telegraph wires. Eventually a worldwide network of 60-word-per-minute teleprinter machines is built. 1935 – App initiated Wirephoto, the world's first wire service for photographs. The first photograph to transfer over the network depicted an airplane crash in Morehouse, New York, on New Year's Day, 1935. 1938 – App expanded new offices at 50 Rockefeller Plaza, known as 50 Rock in the newly built Rockefeller Center in New York City, which would remain its headquarters for 66 years. 1941, App expanded from print to radio broadcast news. 1941, Wide World News Photo Service purchased from the New York Times. 1945, App War correspondent Joseph Morton was executed along with nine OS men and four British SRE agents by the Germans at Mauthausen concentration camp. Morton was the only Allied correspondent to be executed by the Axis during World War II. That same year, App Paris bureau chief Edward Kennedy defied an Allied headquarters news blackout to report Nazi Germany's surrender, touching off a bitter episode that leads to his eventual dismissal by the App. Kennedy maintains that he reported only what German radio already had broadcast. 1951, App War correspondent Prague bureau chief William N. Otis was arrested for espionage by the communist government of Czechoslovakia. He was not released until 1953. 1994, App launches APTV, a global video news gathering agency, headquartered in London. 2004, the app moved its headquarters from 50 Rock to 450 West 33rd Street, New York City. 2006, app joined YouTube. 2008, the app launched App Mobile, initially known as the App Mobile News Network, a multimedia news portal that gives users news they can choose and provides anytime access to international, national, and local news. App was the first to debut a dedicated iPhone application in June 2008 on stage at Apple's WWDC event. The app offered AP's own worldwide coverage of breaking news, sports, entertainment, politics and business as well as content from more than 1,000 app members and third-party sources. 2010, App launched multi-device World Cup soccer applications providing real-time news coverage of the 2010 World Cup on desktop, Apple and Android devices. 2010, App earnings fall 65% from 2008 to just $8.8 .8 million. The app also announced that it would have posted a loss of $4.4 million had it not liquidated its German language news service for $13.2 million. 2011, app revenue dropped $14.7 million in 2010. 2010 revenue totaled $631 million, a decline of 7% from the previous year. App rolled out price cuts designed to help newspapers and broadcasters cope with declining revenue. 2012, Gary B. Pruitt succeeded Tom Curley to become president and CEO. Pruitt is the 13th leader of App in its 166-year history. 
2016, app reports that income dropped to $1.6 million from $183.6 million in 2015. The 2015 profit figure was bolstered by a one-time, $165 million tax benefit. 2017, app moved its headquarters to 200 Liberty Street, New York City. 2018, app unveils app votecast to replace exit polls for the 2018 U.S. midterm elections. Topic. App sports polls The app conducts polls for numerous college sports in the United States. The app college football rankings were created in 1936, and began including the top 25 teams in 1989. Since 1969, the final poll of each season has been released after all bowl games have been played. The app released its all-time top 25 in 2016. As of 2017, 22 different programs had finished in the number one spot of the poll since its inception. The app College Basketball Poll has been used as a guide for which teams deserve national attention. The poll first began its poll of college basketball teams in 1949, and has since conducted over 1,100 polls. The college basketball poll started with 20 teams and was reduced to 10 during the 1960-61 college basketball season. It returned to 20 teams in 1968-69 and expanded to 25 beginning in 1989-90. The final poll for each season is released prior to the conclusion of the NCAA tournament, so all data includes regular season games only. In 2017, the app released a list of the top 100 teams of all time. The poll counted poll appearances 1 point and number 1 rankings 2 points to rank each team. Topic: App Sports Awards. Topic: Baseball. The app began its Major League Baseball Manager of the Year award in 1959, for a manager in each league. From 1984 to 2000, the award was given to one manager in all of MLB. The winners were chosen by a national panel of app baseball writers and radio men. The award was discontinued in 2001. Topic. Basketball Every year, the app releases the names of the winners of its App College Basketball Player of the Year and App College Basketball Coach of the Year awards. It also honors a group of All-American players. Topic. Football App NFL Coach of the Year App NFL Most Valuable Player App NFL Offensive Player of the Year App NFL Defensive Player of the Year App NFL Offensive – Defensive Rookies of the Year App NFL Comeback Player of the Year Topic. Associated Press Television News In 1994, London-based Associated Press Television APTV, was founded to provide agency news material to television broadcasters. In 1998, AB purchased Worldwide Television News WTN, from the ABC News division of the Walt Disney Company, Nine Network Australia and ITN London. App publishes 70,000 videos and 6,000 hours of live video per year, as of 2016. The agency also provides four simultaneous live video channels. App was the first news agency to launch a live video news service in 2003. Topic. Litigation and controversies
Topic: Christopher Newton. Washington, D.C. Bureau reporter Christopher Newton, an app reporter since 1994, was fired by App in September 2002 after he was accused of fabricating sources since 2000, including at least 40 people and organizations. Prior to his firing, Newton had been focused on writing about federal law enforcement while based at the Justice Department. Some of the non-existent agencies quoted in his stories included, "...Education Alliance", the "...Institute for Crime and Punishment in Chicago", "...Voice for the Disabled", and "...People for Civil Rights". <laughs> FBI impersonation case In 2007, an FBI agent working in Seattle impersonated an app journalist and infected the computer of a 15-year-old suspect with a malicious surveillance software. The incident sparked a strongly worded statement from the app, demanding the Bureau never impersonate a member of the news media again. Moreover, in September 2016, the incident resulted in a condemnation by the Justice Department. In December 2017, following a U.S. court appearance, a judge ruled in favor of the app in a lawsuit against the FBI for fraudulently impersonating a member of the news media. Topic: Fair use controversies. In June 2008, the app sent numerous DMCA takedown demands and threatened legal action against several blogs. The app contended that the Internet blogs were violating AP's copyright by linking to app material and using headlines and short summaries in those links. Many bloggers and experts noted that the use of the app news fell squarely under commonly accepted Internet practices and within fair use standards. Others noted and demonstrated that app routinely takes similar excerpts from other sources, often without attribution or licenses. App responded that it was defining standards regarding citations of app news. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Copyright and intellectual property. In August 2005, Ken Knight, a Louisiana photographer, sued the app claiming that it had willfully and negligently violated Knight's copyright by distributing a photograph of celebrity Britney Spears to various media outlets including, but not limited to, TRU-TV, formerly Court TV, America Online and Fox News. The case was settled in November 2006. In a case filed February 2005, McClatchy v. The Associated Press, a Pennsylvania photographer sued the app for cropping a picture to remove the plaintiff's embedded title and copyright notice and later distributed it to news organizations without the plaintiff's permission or credit. The parties settled. Topic. Shepherd Ferry. In March 2009, the Associated Press counter sued artist Shepard Ferry over his famous image of Barack Obama, saying the uncredited, uncompensated use of an app photo violated copyright laws and signaled a threat to journalism. Ferry had sued the app the previous month over his artwork, titled, Obama Hope, and Obama Progress arguing that he did not violate copyright law because he dramatically changed the image. The artwork, based on an April 2006 picture taken for the app by Manny Garcia, was a popular image during the 2008 presidential election and now hangs in the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. According to the app lawsuit filed in federal court in Manhattan, Ferry knowingly misappropriated the AP's rights in that image. The suit asked the court to award app profits made off the image and damages. Ferry said he looked forward to "...upholding the free expression rights at stake here," and disproving the AP's accusations. 
In January 2011 this suit was settled with neither side declaring their position to be wrong but agreeing to share reproduction rights and profits from Ferry's work. <laughs> Hot news in January 2008, Associated Press sued competitor All Headline News claiming that ARN allegedly infringed on its copyrights and a contentious, quasi-property, right to facts. The app complaint asserted that ARN reporters had copied facts from app news reports without permission and without paying a syndication fee. After ARN moved to dismiss all but the copyright claims set forth by app, a majority of the lawsuit was dismissed. The case has been dismissed and both parties settled. In June 2010, Associated Press was accused of having unfair and hypocritical policies after it was demonstrated that app reporters had copied original reporting from the Search Engine Land website without permission, attribution, or credit. Topic: <laughs> Illegal Immigrant In April 2013, App stated that it had dropped the term, "...illegal immigrant", from its stylebook. App follows ABC, NBC, and CNN in not using the term. Jose Antonio Vargas commended the Associated Press for its decision. Syndicated writer Ruben Navarrete criticized the decision, stating the reasoning behind the decision was political correctness and called the blog, "...incomprehensible." Secretary of Homeland Security Janet Napolitano said of the decision, that she doesn't get involved in "...vocabulary wars," and then stated they are immigrants who are here illegally, that's an illegal immigrant. Topic hoax tweet and flash crash On April 23, 2013, the AP's Twitter account was hacked to release a hoax tweet about fictional attacks in the White House that left President Obama injured. This erroneous tweet resulted in a brief plunge of 130 points from the Dow Jones Industrial Average, removal of $136 billion from S&P 500 index, and the temporary suspension of their Twitter account. Although all executed trades were considered final, the Dow Jones later restored its session gains. Justice Department subpoena of phone records On May 13, 2013, the Associated Press announced telephone records for 20 of their reporters during a two-month period in 2012, had been subpoenaed by the U.S. Justice Department and described these acts as a "...massive and unprecedented intrusion," into news-gathering operations. The app reported that the Justice Department would not say why it sought the records, but sources stated that the United States Attorney for the District of Columbia's office was conducting a criminal investigation into a May 7, 2012 app story about a CIA operation that prevented a terrorist plot to detonate an explosive device on a commercial flight. The DOJ did not direct subpoenas to the app, instead going to their phone providers, including Verizon Wireless. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder testified under oath in front of the House Judiciary Committee that he recused himself from the leak investigations to avoid any appearance of a conflict of interest. Holder said his Deputy Attorney General, James M. Cole, was in charge of the app investigation and would have ordered the subpoenas. <laughs> Claims of biased reporting Israeli-Palestinian conflict In his book Broken Spring, an American-Israeli reporter's close-up view of how Egyptians lost their struggle for freedom, former app correspondent Mark Lavi claims that the app upheld a narrative line in which Arabs and Palestinians were entirely without blame in a conflict where all guilt lay with Israel. Israeli journalist Matty Friedman accused app of killing a story he wrote about the war of words between Israel and its critics in human rights organizations in the aftermath of the Israel Gaza conflict of 2008-09 topic 
Topic: Governance. The Associated Press is governed by an elected board of directors. Since April 2017, the chairman is Stephen Swartz, president and CEO of Hearst Communications. Topic: See also List of news agencies App Stylebook Agents France Press Associated Press v. Meltwater F.A. George Emile Breer International Press Telecommunications Council New SML News Industry Text Format Reuters The Canadian Press List of online image archives Tween Tribune